Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy X and we're continuing on the Dark Aeon Saga, and in this episode we're going after Dark Anima. Now you're probably wondering why I'm inside this cave, well, there's a little thing that we need to do first before we can get Anima to pop up. And we're going to make our way through the water chamber here. Now, obviously I've got no encounters on, so again, I don't have to worry about getting into battles here. So we can literally just swim straight on through. And you'll remember from... What the hell? How on earth did that happen? That should not have happened. What? Oh, of course. It takes Lulu and the others out of my party, so no encounters is no longer on. Ooh, okay. Uh, anyway, my apologies on that one, folks. I did not realise that. Anyway, uh, you remember this challenge from earlier on? And... In order to get Animar to pop up, we must first complete this trial again. Now, um, it's going to be the same as last time with one little difference. If we miss, we will end up in a battle instead. So we do need to get our timings just right. And I missed, so we end up in a fight. This is actually a really good way to get the Bandit Snatcher as well, actually, thinking about it. Because it will always summon up this combination, I believe. Didn't occur to me about that actually until just now. Oh, come on, that should have been a perfect hit. Okay, maybe not. takes me too many hits I'll pause the recording while I quickly do this because the battle against Anima itself is going to be quite a lengthy one in itself so realistically we do need to make sure that we're not taking too long with this for the sake of the video got it there we go third time's the charm and there we go Anima now appears at the bottom chest or not, let me have a look, no it's just the same chest, okay. So with that we'll go ahead and we'll make our way down to the bottom of Gegazet. I'm just going to pause my recording while I go and traverse the water though because obviously I've got no, no encounters right now because Kamari was the one that had it and because we've swam across Kamari's back over the other side so I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've made my way back. Just gonna quickly put my team back how it should be. There we go. And we'll go ahead and head for the Mount Gagazette Gate with the telepad. Okay, so before we take any more on, I am gonna just quickly save my game here because this could go horribly wrong. Now she's got one of the largest health pools out of all the Dark Aeons. She has got a, I believe it's a whopping 8 million health. I will just double check that a second. I will consult the guidebook. Not that I ever really use the guidebook now, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, 8 mil. So this is going to be quite a lengthy fight. Um, she does also use a move called Mega Graviton which will inflict um, well it'll, it will inflict numerous status effects including confuse um, so ribbons are an absolute must here um, she can also inflict poison stone zombie and curse as well so again you're going to want to guard against that so uh, my team is now fully complete 
and I'm going to show you the setup we've got. So obviously we've got the celestial weapon with break damage limit and all that good stuff. Uh, actually, I do need to switch her rings out for the correct one. So she's got break HP, ribbon, auto phoenix, and auto protect. And I probably will do another save in a second just so I don't have to do that again. Uh, Waka also has the same, and again, same with Riku. So hopefully we should be good to go. So I'll just do a quick game save here, and then we're going to go ahead and start the fight. Now, again, we are going to need to use our Aeons a little bit here as well, because we're going to have to sacrifice a few of them for the greater good. We all know by now how that goes. We all know what that means. But I would wager we can probably use the same trick that we used against the hammer. Uh, Walker's Overdrive might also offer a little bit of help here as well. Um, but we're going to start off by casting some haste to go here because we want to keep our um, health up. Alright, let's start laying on the damage. Now you're going to need high luck as well in order to hit her as well. We've got to keep an eye on that overdrive gorge as well because that's going to be problematic. We're okay for now because just yeah. I'm gonna go ahead here and chuck out an overdrive as well because it will also help. It won't do maximum damage, but it will whoops, screwed that up. Um but it will do a fair bit. Or not. Okay, we're gonna avoid using the overdrive. <laughs> it's not worth it. Two turns a second. Yeah. Okay, so Yuna's going to be the last one to get hit, in. so when it gets to Yuna, we'll go ahead and we'll pull out a summon to deflect that overdrive. Um, you know what? I think Animal will do just nicely. She's tank the hammer, so I think she should be able to tank this one as well. So what we'll do? As if we go ahead and put our shield up, she'll now go ahead and use Oblivion, and we should theoretically be able to withstand it, I reckon, but we'll soon find out. Let's see what fate has in store for us. Although, having said that, I've always said that there's no such thing as fate and that which we make for ourselves. Just, just managed to tank that. Well, in that case, I'm going to dismiss her for now. We can use her again later. That's actually really quite handy. Cheers for that, Anima. You did me very proud. Up oh, here comes Mega Graviton. But this shouldn't really affect us too much. Um, what we'll do is we'll just counter that with a Mega Elixir. Just heal ourselves back up and then we'll continue the slaughter although I've got to admit I am running out of mega elixirs so that could be a bit problematic but meh we'll roll with it I'm not sure how much damage I've done so far fair bit I should think down to my last mega elixir, that sucks. Might have to use uh, my mega potions instead. Unfortunately they never put um, full cure in this game which is bizarre. Would have been very helpful if they had. Wow, back to back uh, mega gravitar. Aren't you 
just in a foul mood. Screwed up, royally screwed up. I wasn't paying attention to the overdrive bar and I've just gone and attacked with you by accident. That was stupid. There's only one way we're getting out of this now. Luckily, Auto Phoenix will save us here. If we were against the Magnus Sisters, on the other hand, I'd have been a bit more panicky, but. This should protect us. Like, obviously we're going to lose one of our characters for a moment. There's nothing that can be done about that. Um, but at least two of them will come back because of auto -fuse. Sure, Oblivion does not dispel auto -fuse. And if it does, um, then we're in trouble. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, we're safe, we're fine, we're, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> okay, first things first, let's... Oh, no, I forgot about that. Ugh, okay. Um... I do need to get... Um... I need to get uh, Walker back on his feet. Yeah, it's always a good idea to try and block Oblivion with an Aeon because it will snatch up your. Uh, it will snatch up your. Um, MP, unfortunately. Oh, God, not again. Come on. I forgot you're out of MP, aren't you? Start laying in some more attacks. I'm not too worried about my health right now because Auto Phoenix will protect me. It's just the overdrive we need to worry about. Just wondering whether it's worth. I need something that can restore everybody nice and quickly, but I don't really have anything. Um, well, Riku's got access to an overdrive. One moment. Okay, so I have managed to sort myself out with Riku's overdrive. If you have antidotes and a map item, you can combine the two to make a combination called the Megalixia, which will restore full health and MP which is what I've got here, as you can see. And with that now sorted, I am going to go ahead and go on the attack. Well, hopefully. Ouch. Just 
we go ahead and sort you out a sec. Time to put our shields up. So this is what well, this can become quite a long-winded fight, depending on whether Anima outspeeds you a little bit and you're having to go on the hill quite a bit. Um, I mean, I know she's going to die here. I fully get that, but it's better Anima dies than. And us lose all our MP in it. One of our Aeons destroyed, but that's fine. I just wondering whether it's worth me putting Shell on, whether that would reduce stuff or not. Hmm. Uh, let's continue attacking. We're good for now. I'd love to know how much I've actually taken out of her so far. But of course, she's immune to sensors, so we can't actually tell. Tell you what, if we didn't have the ribbons on that mega graviton of hers, it would royally mess us up. I guarantee it. here for the minute because otherwise we're going to end up going into her overdrive again and we're going to get messed up and I'd rather not have that happen if we can help it. Now we need to summon we'll have to leave those other two attacks unfortunately. And this time we'll go with the hammer, I think. Legendary Dragon. And once again we're going to go shield. And we're going to get chinned by the uh, Oblivion of that.
He's alive, just. Alright. Take a break, the hammock. I want to also try and keep the haste up as much as possible as well if we can. Here comes Mega Graviton again. Oh, not again, come on. Is this how it's going to be for a moment? Just, just constantly healing? She really wants my ass gone. A second. Oh, I really should have set myself up with some alchemy here. Is that the only move you know how to use now? That's just sad. And again, my god. This is getting really tiresome now. I'm actually really contemplating trying to chuck some shells out here just to see whether that reduces the damage of that. Really starting to get annoying. Um, right, let's go ahead and block that um, Oblivion. Because that is going to be her next move, because her overdrive gorge is now full. So we do need to uh, deal with that. Not that it will really help, but we'll go into our shield again.
give it a go, see if it helps or not. Time to retaliate. Shell protect me or not? Nope. Shell offers no protection against that. Okay. Well, I had to find out. Now I know. Here comes Mega Graviton again. So it would appear that Shell does work against Mega Graviton, just not pain, unfortunately. Hey, down she goes. And there was me getting ready to put another shield up. Turns out, didn't need it. So that is uh, Animar down. We now just have the Magnus, uh, yeah, Magnus sisters left to do now. That's a weapon for Tidus. I believe that's his great damage, but I think I'd already sorted that out. Actually. Oh no, Durundarize is triple AP, but that's come with Death Strike as well, apparently. Okay. Alright then, folks, well, that's going to conclude this episode. I hope that it's been of some use. And uh, i got to say, considering how, th uh, how bad things went the last time I did Dark Anima on camera, I would say that was be probably my best attempt yet. It actually went very well. I didn't die once. That literally was my first attempt. And yeah, it went a lot smoother this time. So I think this time around, definitely, um, you know, I, I did a much better job this time. And I actually showed off how best to deal with her properly this time. Um, I mean, having auto protect definitely helped, I think. But right, folks, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will be back with you next time where we're going to go deal with the Magnus Sisters, which is going to be slightly more complicated, but just do as I do and you'll get through it. So if you've liked what you've seen, then please do let me know in the comments section. Smash that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye for now, folks.